Now if you see the requests that are in pending state, you can go ahead, if you scroll right, you can edit the request. So now requests which are in pending state, what you can do is, if you want, you can add an additional site to it. Okay. You can add an additional site to it or you can remove the previously assigned site from it. Okay. And assign maybe a new site. Okay. You can make changes to the sites. Basically, you can assign unassigned sites. If you go next, you can assign extra doors if you want. And save. So the thing to notice, if the request is in pending state, you can go ahead and edit the request and make changes to its sites or doors. Okay. Now, if the request is in accepted state, okay, you can view the request. Okay. You can view the assigned doors and you can make changes to the doors. Okay. If there were multiple doors, for example, you could unassign the doors. Okay. Now, since it's compulsory to uh, assign at least one door, this button got enabled. But in case there were multiple doors, you could unassign or assign the doors as you wish. Okay. But what you can't do here is side changes you can't do once the, once the request is accepted. Okay. This is for accepted state. Okay. One more thing what you can do for accepted state is you can unlink the site. That means the tenant, uh, he no longer wishes to use the doors from the landlord site. Okay. He no longer wishes to use that site. So he can go ahead. He can unlink the site. Okay. If I unlink the site, the site will get unlinked and the tenant user, the tenant organization will no longer see the doors which were under this site. Okay, they will no longer get access to this doors. They will not even see the doors in their organization. Okay, so these are the uh, fun functions or the operations that you can do in uh, edit tenant. Okay, or view tenant. Now, if your request is rejected, you can just view the request. Okay, you can just view the request. You can't make any changes to it. Okay. Now, if your request is accepted, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can deactivate that tenant. Okay. Deactivate tenant is another option. So that tenant will get deactivated. Okay. He will no longer see the doors that you have assigned to him. He will no longer get access to any of the sites or doors. Okay. Now the deactivated tenants will go in this particular tab, deactivated tenants. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can wish to activate them. You have to just click on activate. Again, it's the same process. Okay. This was the previously assigned site uh, before deactivating the tenant. Okay. So, if you want, you can assign more sites. You have to assign the doors. And then you can send requests.